Hey guys, Vikas over here and this is Two Year Genius. Guys, today I am with a new video around Raspberry Pi. We will see a new OS ported for Raspberry Pi, and that's nothing but the Fedora. So this month, Fedora released the Fedora 25 beta version, and that really comes with the support for Raspberry Pi. But still, there are many bugs has to be resolved, and support for the Pi hardware like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi present in Raspberry Pi 3. and the audio over the 3.5 mm jack and many more things yet to come so as it is a better version nothing to worry about they will definitely sort it out in the final release so over here we are going to install the fedora beta version of the workstation onto the raspberry pi and we'll have a walk through around it so being said that let's get started guys So guys, let's start with downloading the OS. So on the Fedora project page, uh, for which I have given the link in the description down below, we'll see something like download the Fedora ARM image. So, and and over here, we can download the workstation version, server version, or minimal or skin. So I'll go with the workstation. Just click on this. and this actually is about 1.25 gb or something so it will take some time so after the download finish we'll see something like this so go ahead and extract it let's go to over here again it is going to take some time now after the extraction completes We'll see a file something like this having extension pro. Now we'll open up the Win32 Disk Imager. So if you are using any other software, you can go ahead with that, no issue. And over here, browse for the particular file, the raw file. And you just need to make over here select all files instead of disk images because that is having extension raw. it is all file find the file over here so i'll just go with that fedora workstation the raw file so i'll just click on open over here select your device and click on write right now i have not connected in sd card so i just can't show you over here how to do that so after you click write it is going to take some time and uh, and after everything finished it will show you a message right successful so now take take that card onto the pi and uh, let's put it up and we'll see how it works so guys over here i have connected the sd card into my raspberry pi 2 and the, i have connected that onto my monitor over here and over here you can see the put text that is been printed out into the display so let's skip it we are going to fast forward it and after everything completes we'll see the fedora welcome window so on the screen over here select the language first then the keyboard layout you are interested in click on next select the privacy the services you want to access or not and over here select your time zone so i am going ahead with my time zone that is the kolkata india now here yeah, this is like if you are interested in additional softwares and over here you just give your name and the computer user name that you want to give it to your pi then set the password that you are going to use for your pi just go ahead verify with this
and click on next now and you'll see something like you are ready to go let's finish every configuration click on ok and guys finally over here this is the welcome screen over here click on the username give your password that you have provided earlier and this will take you to the home screen so guys after everything has been set up we have installed the os onto the sd card booted it and it has been configured now when you log in again you will see something like this so you just need to pull it up by using mouse or something over here just enter your password that we have provided earlier so now just click on unlock and it will take us to the main window and for information all it will show you the all installed application software so this is the not like when uh, we are using raspbian it like something noted or java id or anything but over here you don't find uh, anything like that so you just need uh, get the standard software application that comes with standard desktop os also so over here these are the application you don't find any application specific to raspberry pi or specific to iot kind of stuff Ah, so these are all the applications over here. There are utilities that you get with the OS. Now on the terminal. Let's type on Python and we'll check if it is coming up with Python or not. So you can see over here, Python is not installed. And for Java, okay, it seems Java is installed. Let's check out the version. Java Python version. There is uh, yeah, you can see over here, Java is coming pre-installed with the OS. So that is version 1.8, I think. Yeah, 1.8.0. So that's all. This I find useful over here, and uh, we'll uh, see. If, and when the final release comes, we'll see in depth what it comes. Uh, what is the difference between the beta version and the final one? Definitely, that will be coming with the more hardware supports. So that's all for today, guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe my channel for latest contents. See you next time. Thank you.